Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to create a sample AI chatbot Android app using the Google's Gemini in approximately 10 minutes. So let's begin. We will create a new project. But before that, I would like to show that the steps has been given by the uh, in this particular page of Android developer by the Gemini itself. And all the steps I will follow is from this step. But before you continue in these steps, to get the this Gemini API starter, you will need one of the latest versions or preview versions of the Android Studio. So if you are using the older versions, it may not show up that particular option. So download either the Iguana version or Jellyfish. So in this demonstration, I've got the Jellyfish version downloaded. So let me create a new project. You can name this as Gemini API Starter. You can name this project anything, say for example, I will name it as Gemini a starter or chat app chat android app there's the things i leave it as it is and click next over here it will ask for api key so api key you can get from your google account you can also use this link to generate it from google studio itself otherwise what i'll prefer is i'll go to my google account and in the API key, just click on this create API key. It may ask you, sorry, uh, it may ask you to select the project, select any of the projects. Say for example, I select this and create API key and it will give you an API key instantly, which you can use. You can, I will uh, trigger this key, so don't use my key, uh, but yeah. And click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while, depending on your system. In the meantime, I'll just quickly show you that API key, whatever you have fed, where will it come? It will come to this local.properties file over here. So if you double click and open this file, you'll see the this particular entry over here of the API key. You can go and uh, recheck. It's the same uh, what we have got over here. So yeah, this is anyway one-time process. And uh, apart, apart from this, you have to do nothing else. It will build on its own. It may take a while for the first time, but there is no coding required at the at least start. The time it's taken to load, in the meantime, I can just quickly explain you the structure of this particular code. Also, yeah, so how it will happen is so if you see here in the, the structure over here, it will create a sample uh, app which can be used to have interact with the Gemini AI. However, what we need is to create a chatbot. So, let me go quickly to my these steps and I'll follow this. So we have done this click on this. We have given the name and we have given an API key and then we started. So we'll get a chat of this kind, an app of this kind. However, in this example, I want to show you how to create a chat bot. So for that, what you can do it is you can go to file new and import samples. So let me go quickly there. File new and import sample. And over here, just type generative. And the first option itself, you can choose, click next, and you can name this anything probably, yeah, one, uh, whatever name it comes, I'll just leave it as it is, and click finish. It may again take a while, and it's asking whether this is a trusted source and all, so I will trust it because it's anywhere from Android, but you can select. So this will again take a while to create this particular project. It's downloading, I think I can close this for the time being. Yeah. So, okay, so this is the second <coughs> app which is getting created here. The options what we'll get is the the three options will be there, which is basically generate text, photo reasoning, and chat. So we'll be showing or we'll be dealing with the chat over here. And in this also local properties, you don't have to set it again. Okay, I'm not sure something happened. Uh, if you open the local properties file, it will auto it should have. Okay, I was expecting it to have the uh, that particular entry, but nevertheless, I'll do it manually. If it's not there, just make sure that your API key variable is set over here, and which I can, of course, go back and get it from here. So this is the only setting required. That's the same thing it's written in the this give me md file also that you have to just set this one. Once done this, you can just run it and let the app come yeah so in the meantime i can just quickly explain you that if you go to the source code you'll see in the features part there are three features chat multimodal and text so in this tutorial we are dealing with the chat so basically there are two 
code one is a chat message and chat screen.kt file so yeah if you require you can even modify these files as per your need uh, if you want to have some type of customization but in this i'll just show you how to quickly at least boot up your first uh yeah chat app so so just wait and let's wait for the environment to come up over here so my app seems to have booted up so i'll do one thing but it's a bit small yeah and my this perfect so there are three options is giving so we'll go to the third option which is like multi-turn uh conversation chat so let's click on try it and it should open this kind of chat window where it says yeah some of the chats are upfront given so probably i have two dogs in my house here to meet you so no probably we can ask him uh, it a question how many dogs do i have in total so let's see if it's able to keep a track of my previous chat or not so i'm expecting let's see what the answer comes so okay you have to a total of two dogs as you stated in your opening statement perfect so it's able to remember the history and based on that it's able to give me a output so we can have probably some other conversation over here we can take an example say for example why is iceland famous so let's see what it says uh to be honest i have no idea so but let's see what it says and we can ask some kind of more of an interactive questions based on the response it gives and see if it's able to correlate or not so they are like six or seven items it says so okay i'll say how many people live there yeah so again it's okay there is a spelling mistake but i'm pretty sure it will be able to be smart enough to understand that so if i scroll up so the population of ice so even if I, have, I haven't given the name of the country but it's able to understand from my previous conversation that i'm talking about the ice okay perfect so that's all i wanted to show you in this short video that is pretty simple you have to just put up your jellyfish uh, under studio which is in is still in a preview and then go to the import sample and you can import the generative sample from the google intelligence click next and it will start this particular app and then you can use it further to modify the any of this part the customization of the feel and loop you can always okay, update this particular code so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye